think twice about a veterinarian, that is, until our pets are in need of some care. Vets heal, care for, and basically do everything that we aren't prepared to do for our pets ourselves. Rage explores the veterinary world with two individuals who are passionate about animal well-being and have chosen their careers in this field. They share their experiences connecting with the animals and their owners as well. It wasn't by chance that Dr. Kwok Fan Suen became a veterinary officer. When I really, really wanted to be the vet, it was during my form six because my dog met with an accident. Yeah, so uh, and then it was quite critical, but I didn't understand that time. So the vet said that your dog might or might not go through it. So I pray lah. I said that let's say if he managed to pull through it, so I will become a vet lah. So uh, I assume he pulled through it. Yeah, he pulled through it. And then now she's still here. Growing up with a mother who took in stray animals around the neighborhood, she too developed strong feelings for the creatures. She has of course fulfilled her promise and has been a vet for almost two years. Dr. Kwok has long since realized that there's more to being a vet than just having fun with the animals. I get got bitten by a doberman on the face just about one month ago. They are animals that, I mean sometimes you need to be cruel to help them also. also like when you want to manhandle an animal, you need to know the techniques, if not you might get yourself hurt or you hurt the animal. So you have to think of many things, like it's not just like oh, fun or what. Uh, and then for being a vet, <coughs> being a vet also it involves dirty job, like you need to see the poo of the animal, like the diarrhea, why is the colour, why is the smell. You have to, I mean the touch blood or touch dirty stuff, you cannot be afraid. Like. As the animals come and go, one cannot help but to get attached to them. When they want to go back, it's not hard, but if they are going to die or what, oh. then it's hard. There was one time, uh, it's a puppy, okay. it's a rottweiler puppy, they have this uh, infection called Papa virus. But this, once they get this virus, actually the chances of survival is very low. But then, uh, maybe it was a bit too emotional, lah, so I actually cried when the dog puppy passed away. This is of course a part of the job as a veterinarian, says Dr. Erundato. That is the other part of the of the of the work which sometimes you you have to deal with. You get attached to them, and if they get well, wonderful. Sometimes you spend a lot of time, a lot of effort. You you spend waking moments at night thinking through, wondering what else could you do for for the dog or the cat. And unfortunately, no matter what you do, they they still pass away, and that's a bit hard to deal with. So when that cases happen, you just have to learn to let go. Because if you're going to hold every animal too emotionally attached. It's going to be difficult for you because many times you can't do much for them when, they, when animals are brought in very bad situation. But the hardest thing Dr. Erinda finds is meeting irresponsible owners. And people bring in perfectly healthy kittens and puppies like this and they don't want them and they ask you to put them to sleep. Now that's very hard to do, it's not justified. Nevertheless, they both agree that being a good vet does help solve the problems many pets and their owners have. So, how does one become a good vet? Um, normally, if you are only an animal lover per se, you may not make a very good veterinarian either because then your judgment is clouded by your animal love and not looking at the whole big picture. Mm -hmm. So, but of course, your first thing you must have passion for them. I always believe that if you love your work, it's no longer a work, is it? Both Dr. Arinda and Dr. Kwok completed their five years education at University Putra Malaysia's Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. One has to have a degree in the veterinary medicine to become a vet. Those who only hold a diploma in the subject can only apply to become a veterinary assistant after graduating. Dr. Kwok says that a fresh graduate can earn about 2,000 to 2,500 ringgit a month currently. Although the money doesn't pour in, Sometimes it's the owner's act that means more than any monetary award. My best uh, memory is when the little child comes in and, and she brought in a dog cat and I can remember now and it treated well and the animal got better. And that child looks at you and looks at the mom and tells the mom, Mom, when I grow up I want to be a vet just like that doctor. Now that's the satisfaction that you get. If it is such a wholesome career, why aren't youngsters looking to be a vet then? I think it's a lot of misconception in the sense that um, we call ourselves veterinarian, but if you go out to to the to the to layman, if, you if I tell them I'm a veterinarian, they're like, huh? And I said, animal doctor or oh, doctor binatang, okay? So there is a perception that the veterinarians are considered people who couldn't cut it in the medical field. I mean, they applied for medical medical uh, university, 
they, they didn't get in. They applied for pharmacies, or they applied for dentistry, they didn't get in, so they got kicked into the veterinary field. All right? So there's a conception that these are all the rejects. Nevertheless, Dr. Kwok urges those who are interested to give the study a go. It is a very interesting, I mean, a field. I mean, even the study itself is very interesting. Like, we get to go practicals in zoos. We need to, like, hug penguins. We need to, like, play with wild animals. And then we need to learn to ride, horse, ride horses and all that. We do a lot of things, like, it's very fun. But when it comes to work, per se, uh, it's going to be a time-consuming work. Uh, so you have to be prepared for it. But not everything ends when one has become a vet. The quest for knowledge doesn't end with the acceptance of a degree. As a medical profession, once you finish all your compulsory studies, you need to have the hunger to continually go for continuing education. If not, you're going to be, get, you're going to be left behind. Now you know a veterinarian does more than just saving animals. And if you too have a lot of love for animals and the interest to pursue a medical line, Give veterinary medicine a try. Chances are that you won't regret your choice. Sharmna Nair, The Star, Malaysia.